What's going on guys? Welcome back to one of the last few uh, Masters 25 drafts we'll be doing because tomorrow uh, is the Masters Cube, or the Modern Cube on Magic Online. So we're going to take this Cloud Blazer because that's just what you do when you open a Cloud Blazer. It's not a Jace, but it's a Cloud Blazer, so it's cool. Tin Man, thank you so much, man. Finally got a Jace. So if you guys haven't seen it, check out the last uh, video. The last Oh, the double Cloud Blazer deck. That's where we want to be. They took an uncommon over. Uh, so there's a there's the the foil is still here. The rare is still here, and two of the commons, two of the uncommons are still here. So they took a common, which is pretty interesting. What do you first? What uncommon do you first pick over a cloud blazer? I wonder. There's got to be something. I just don't know how familiar I am with it. <clears throat> but I will definitely take it because it's cloud blazer. 420 cloud blaze it. Um, yo, Fizzle, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. What up, Guy Lordy? Adam. Time to just take this Elvish Piper. Elvish Piper has proven to be pretty, pretty powerful. Um, if we're gonna like the only other card I would take is Epic Confrontation. Like, there's two green cards in this pack that I want. And I think Piper is just stronger than Confrontation, even though Confrontation is very, very good. There is only one Planeswalker in this set, and it is a uh, a Windmill Slam if you get it. All right, so this, uh, this angel that I'm looking at from Dominaria is Shalai, Voice of Plenty, 3-4 for 4 mana. You, Planeswalkers you control, and other creatures you control have Hexproof. That's pretty good. It is other creatures, though, so you're not going to be uh, not going to be protecting her. And then you have five, six mana to Gavany Township. Yeah, that's fine. I don't think that's pushed. That seems pretty average. I mean, it's a 3-4 four for four. Like, it's very easy to kill. Six mana, you get a 1-1 one, one counter on all your guys, which requires you to have a lot of guys and a lot of mana. And, uh, I mean, you probably want to kill this first anyway if you're going to kill a creature, so I don't think it's that big of a deal. That seems like a pretty reasonable creature. I'm going to take Mana War because there's uh, absolutely no reason not to. Another ball lightning. I bet if we had a nickel for every ball lightning, it's basically the same as a Jace, though. So it's also legendary, so you could have multiples on the same at the same time to give each other hex proof, which would be cool. But uh, legendary, so that is not a thing. It might just be Prism here because we have three different colors right now. We did not open another Jace yet, unfortunately. I'm going to take this Prism. I think it's probably a safer pick than Griffin or Dauntless. Actually, these might be the safer picks. I think this is the better pick. Are cards like Skizik, Verdant Force, Siege Gang Commander, and Gaia's Blessing really in Dominaria? That's crazy. Thorn Elemental? What? That's weird. Um, <clears throat> well, this pack is interesting. We don't have any enchantments yet. I gotta, might just be White Main Lion. We got Double Cloud Blazer. And we can protect our Elvish Piper. Yeah, I'll just take White Main Lion. It's better than Retraction Helix if you don't have a crab. Oh, another Mana War. Certainly. I like Mana, Mana War better than Geist of the Moor, especially if we're going three colors. And there's no reason we're... Mainly, we like we could be blue green splashing the white. I 
Oh, we also have double mana or double cloud blazer. So yeah, this is definitely a cloud shift deck if I ever saw one. <clears throat> and white main line is kind of like a, uh, I want to say a rich man's uh, cloud shift because it costs more. God, how many nickel boluses do we get to pass in our lifetime? I like Timberpack Wolf, but not only... Is that better than a single God's Willing in case we get, like, multiples? Maybe? <laughs> Yo, Shane. <laughs> Appreciate the support, man. Uh, not sure uh, we're going to go in that direction, but I think it's just God's Willing here. I don't trust the number of Timberpack Wolves. We'll see. Oh, go ship. Mystic. I think Mystic's probably better than Ghost Ship. Although Ghost Ship has been very good for us at multiple points in our life. Yeah, I like Ghost Ship. And we'll just take this Mystic. Alright, everybody wins. Eh, I like this better than Oromancer. Oromancer takes, like, I think the black-white deck wants Oromancer because you get more Pillories of the Sleepless and Promise of Boonerai. Genju of the Falls. Sure, that guy's actually won us games. That is a hasty 3-2 flyer. Dalkery, thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Uh, I'll take a Firewalker. Oh, if Black had dead weight over Disfigure, that'd be great. Ormancer would be MVP. CTB, thank you so much, man. It was good times. It was it was long overdue, let's say. And we still got two more packs here, so who knows? Who knows what could happen? Second Twilight Mire. All right, now we're looking for here. Unfortunate. Can we just ghost ship number two? I mean, this is like the only pick, really. We can have a disenchant for the sideboard, but ghost ghost ship is going to go in the main deck. We can also take aberration aberration for the green splash, but I'd rather just have ghost ship. I mean, ideally, the person next to us opened Jace foil Jace, and they're passing us a foil Jace, but that is not the case. There is no foil Jace. That was a little rhyme I made up for you guys. I don't think it's accumulated knowledge when we only have one. It's probably just Mystic of the Hidden Way here. <clears throat> Actually, it could be blue-green. And splashing Cloud Blazers and, like, the other cards. If that's the case, Iwamori is probably better. I do like splashing white better because it makes us easier to play cultivate. But it's worse for if we want a cloud shift. All right, we'll just take Squadron Hawk here. And hope we don't get any good green cards that we can feel bad about. Mm, Perilous Mirror is good. I like Perilous Mirror. I like Presence of Gone in case we get a, uh, a crab, but I don't want to be splashing green for, this, for just this guy. I'd rather just splash it for Piper if I have to. I'll take a Perilous Mirror. This pack is pretty bad as well, so. Eh, also not great. Actually, uh, someone played Jalira against it, and it was actually pretty backbreaking. Daniel, thank you so much for the sub, man. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. <clears throat> what I play... <laughs> oh, I see what you're doing. It's either Jaleera or this Griffin Protector. 
I'm going to take... Well, actually, I bet one of these Jaliras comes back. I'll just take Griffin Protector here. Oh, Counterspell. I do like a good Counterspell. Probably more than I like a Noble Templar, especially because we don't have a lot of removal right now. <clears throat> and Cultivate. All right, that's a pretty good reason to be more green than white. We also don't have a good reason to be white right now, except for... I think Elvish Piper putting free Cloud Blazers into play is just as good as... Uh, I want to take this. I'm going to put you in the side. <clears throat> uh, Geist of the Moors, just in case white is our color. I'm going to lean toward Cultivate right now, but we'll see. Play a song. What song am I playing for you, buddy? I have not played MTG in, f in over five years. What's new? I have no idea how to even answer that question. Wow. Um, I'm going to take Noble Templar here. And Elvish Aberration seems good. All right, these picks are pretty good. Oh, even Wari comes back. That's pretty... Wow, every blue and green card came back. I'll take even Wari. I'll take a plummet. Oh, look, one of the Jaliros came back, just like we thought. Yeah, this seems good. Noble Templar can get our Splash White. Uh, let's just take Dumb Primal Clay. I like Curiosity a lot, actually. What up, Unseen Spectre? Yeah, this card's not terrible. Oh, another Rashad and Port. That's eight tickets. We'll take a Rashad and Port. Not terrible. Worth a little more than the pack itself. So, uh, I'm okay with it. <clears throat> Nothing we'd really take here anyway. We have Crows and Colossus Sift, which is fine, but I don't really feel like we need another four drop or more card drawing. Um... And those are the only things I'd really even consider. So we're just going to take the port. Kong Ming. Horseshoe Crab. Wild Heart Invoker. I like Invoker better than Crab, but I also think uh, I want a card that is not a 4 drop at this point. Plus Presence of Gond uh, and Jalira Master Polymorphist would be good if we get another, if we get a Presence of Gond here. I like Myriad Landscape if we're splashing. And we definitely are. But I also like Prophetic Prism. Hmm. Landscape is gas. The only problem is that it requires us to play two planes, which I'm not a huge fan of. Like with Double Prism, Noble Templar, and Cultivate, we can definitely play a one plane deck. One plane. Daniel, have a good uh, afternoon, buddy. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just take Prophetic Prism. Ooh, I like Exclude a lot. Second Iwamori kind of bugs me because we don't. it's uh, legendary, so I don't really want two Iwamoris. I'm just going to take the Exclude. That card's great, and it's always going to make the cut.
Well, have a good rest of your life, Daniel. Do you ever think about that? No. Murder of Crows? Yes, please. Hmm. How is me wishing you a, a happy rest of your life rude? Explain it to me. I think it's just other plummet here. Actually, probably retraction helix. We have a plummet. We have flyers. I'm just going to take retraction helix because maybe we can bounce their whole board if we want to with our crab. I'm also not super high on crab right now if we don't have anything else to go with it. So, If we have Elvish Piper online, we can also just cheat guys like this and all, all these five guys into play. So... Brine Elemental? That's a late Brine Elemental. I mean, that's the pick, right? It's not Curse Catcher, lol. Yeah, that's, that's definitely a pick. That's an easy replacement for Crab. So we have three white cards, one of which can get us a planes. Not super sold on Curiosity, but it is pretty good on a ghost ship, on a regenerating ghost ship. Or a Mystic of the Hidden Way, so. I don't even think we've seen any cloud shifts. Maybe we've seen them, we just didn't pay much attention to them, but I don't recall them, so. Um... I don't hate Kavu Climber here. I like Arcane Denial because I just like having many counter spells for this format. I'm going to take Arcane Denial. If they have like Living Death or Jace or something, I just want to have another counter spell for it. And they always have Living Death or Jace. Uh, Crossing Colossus seems pretty good, especially with Elvish Piper. That's probably playable. I could play it over Curiosity, probably. We have a lot of card drawing. This is actually 17 creatures with a Genju, so 18 creatures. That's a lot. Just take a loyal sentry. Mm, Fathom Seer, maybe? Another Jalira. We'll take the Sift. Whoa, Corkusar came back. All right. I like I like Lull a lot, actually. Probably more than I should. We actually have a, we can actually cut the green if we wanted to and just have a really good blue white deck. I think this is great though. This deck looks pretty good. This does look like a spicy spaghetti. Like, we could cut green. I don't think I want to, though. Like, I just don't want to. I'm not saying it's even worse.
like this might be better but i think the other one's funner and i think that's more important to me so yeah so let's bring in a prism prism cultivate Iomori piper aberration this guy mm, that's the deck right all right cool we're just gonna put one planes because that's really all we need we have prism prism planes noble templar cultivate so we have five sources of white for essentially two white cards uh bob's clark modern cube goes up tomorrow so eh, this doesn't seem right eight nine fifteen we get two more probably nine seven yeah that seems fine we can do eight eight but that seems weird so I will play first. Oh, this hand seems great. Turn two cycle, turn four, turn five. So, can't complain about that. Our opponent is 1-0. So, they already know their deck is, is good. Start with an island in case we draw a counterspell. We did not draw counterspell. Probably gonna Noble Templar here just to get a planes, but we might not need to. We might have another turn. The problem is if we don't hit it, then we have to waste a turn between between four and five to get it, but I don't know if that's a problem. I'm gonna pass and assume we're gonna draw cultivate. We drew mana war. Uh I'm drinking water out of a water bottle. Not super exciting. This seems fine. Oh no, you're gonna exclude my, that's actually very good. I hate when you draw. It's like cryptic command, basically. Oh, I see. What a cutie. So we're going to Cloud Blazer here. Next time we're going to Mana War and keep up Exclude. Disfigure in response. Yeah, sure. Doesn't matter. That's a three for one. <laughs> Cool. Maybe we flip that. Or uh, return that, I guess. Do 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 do. Send me a fallen angel. Now I'm still going to counter this. I don't have an answer for this guy. So if you're going to spend your turn playing that guy, that's fine. Oh, no attack. Interesting. Nope, that's not how we do it.
Hist Corey, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Salt Eye Brood. Did I miss it? Did it pop up? I didn't even see it pop up. As we have mentioned, tomorrow's cube is modern cube. Oh, accumulated knowledge for one. Followed by fallen angel, sure. I mean, do we trade an island for this morph? I think so. I mean, they can block and then pump, and that's totally fine. Seems good. No, they, they said did not see, does not seem as good. All right. Dim Shadow 7, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Salt High Brood. Oh, we just ended our turn without doing anything. That's really sad. I was distracted by a thing. That is sad. Wow, that's really bad. Because next time we could have played Perilous Mirror and sacrificed it to the Master Power. That was really bad. See what happens. You guys try to support me and then I ruin everything. Could have also played Island. I mean, alternatively, maybe they're going to flip up Brine Elemental, and uh, they are. Why didn't it attack with Brine Elemental? Is Oh, I oh, was just going to play Shoreline Ranger. All right. That would have been good. All right. Well, they have two cards in hand, and I think our two cards are very, very good, especially when we can play Mana War, bounce their Ranger next turn, attack for a bunch. That is fine. Four, five, six, seven, eight. We also have nine mana. We can give two guys unblockable at some point. Oh, you drew two cards. No. Oh. Double sack outlets. All right. Good to know. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You can attack for twelve right here. That's pretty scary. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's see what happens. Sack a creature, real cards in the line room in the random order. Sure, that's actually pretty good.
sure. What's the play here? Damage? What's this? What are you doing right now? Willbender. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Yep, that is unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good, though. So we can just give this guy unblockable next turn, right? Wow. Yes, please. Please don't have an answer for our Crossan Colossus. Boy, that is mighty, mighty fine of you, uh, Jalira. You are the best polymorphist I've ever seen. All right. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Like, we're not going to do it. <laughs> Come on. Uh, I guess you could have Disfigure. That would be pretty funny. Watch us lose to a Disfigure. Nope, they die. All right, sweet. Good times. All right. Uh, Plummet comes in. We've seen a 3-4 and another thing. Wow, that was just wonderful. Yeah, it was greedy of us not to play the... We should have played the land first and given two guys unblockable just in case they did have Disfigure. Um, but they didn't, and we win. We can 41 here. I'm okay with 41. Uh, definitely keeping the Cultivate Hand. I like a good Plummet. Whatever that means. What a weird thing to say. Oh, what a good draw. This hand is actually great. We have Mana War, Cultivate, Crossan Colossus. Are you going to counterspell this guy? This guy was MVP last game, apparently. This lady, I should say. I guess we'll attack here. I didn't actually see a counterspell, so we might just put you on Exclude and Cultivate here. I think we're fine either way. Oh, sweet. We get rewarded. S 
sift. Wow. Hmm. Intriguing. Because now we can just play Polymorphist, which seems good. We can also draw Cloud Blazer. Play that. Sift being your first play on turn four is pretty weird. Because there's no like infest in the format, so you can one for one for one our, our guys, which is fine. Knowledge, draw one, okay. Murder? Sure. It's murder. Oh, that's a good card. Helvish Piper seems pretty good. We can just put this Genju on the falls on a land too, which is great. Uh, I don't think they're living death when they have only Phyrexian and Ghoul in their graveyard, but if they are, that's fine. Yep, definitely not living end right now. So I think we just bounce this guy with Mana War because it puts another dude on the board. And then it lets us attack for seven. Yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, they're at seven. Like, if they want a living in, that's still fine. We get Genju and Jalira back. Like, we have Genju on board, we get the Jalira back, and then they only have Phyrexian Ghoul, which is just fine. So, three, four, five... That should do it. Got him! Alright, that was fun. Our deck seems sweet. Magic is a tough game. But don't bump, bump, bump. Join the match. There are a lot of uncommon legendary cards in this set, in this Dominaria. In this Dominaria. I don't know why I said it like that, like I'm your grandpa. Uh, I'll keep this hand. Any island and it's just great. And we still have things to play if we get a land that's not an island, so... All too easy. That's Darth Vader. Myland. Well, oh, that's not an island at all. Oh, we're so good at this game. It's not even funny. We don't have a way to flip this guy, so I actually think it's better to just wait for... Uh... What do you call it? Maybe. Maybe we just cast it face down. That's fine. Kindle. Oh, knowledge. Knowledge. That's what I meant.
They missed a land drop. All too easy. That's weird. Sometimes it says Crossan Colossus's color is green. Sometimes it doesn't. Like now it doesn't, right? Let's. Now it does. I don't know why it. That's weird. Oh, I gotta pay blue. That's right. Otherwise, we could have like attacked with it. There we go. Can we get an island? Or, no, actually, planes. I don't know why I asked for an island. Uh, I guess we'll just win the game instead. Island would have been fine, too. All right, we saw accumulated knowledge, island, and mountain. Don't think we're boarding anything for that. Oh, this hand seems fine. It's the same, same situation. Any lands, we get to play these guys. Any green, we get to play Cultivate. Yeah, that's we're really good at this game. <laughs> what up, the loose games? I'm just going to call you TLG from now on. What up, TLG? Or I can call you Ludus. It's up to you. I will leave it up to you. All right, so same situation. Island, mountain, and the knowledge. Let's see if you hit that third land this time. Oh, you did it. Pillage your land. Oh, a little crabby. A little crabbert. We're just going to uh, hold off on the cultivate because... Or on the uh, the mana war because we want you to play like a dagger on this guy first. We do want to hit lands next turn though, so we are going to go, go a searching. I'll attack. I don't think you're blocking. Yep, there it is. That's exactly what we're looking for. Now we're going to Mana War that thing. Back to the Stone Age. Did you miss a fourth land? Oh, wow. No more cards for you. You got greedy, Martin. This might be the quickest draft in history. Uh, I'm just going to play Murder of Crows here. <laughs> I'll just call you Ludus. I think Ludus is probably better. It's probably easier to uh, to associate with. Than Why are they missing? This is awkward. I missed three land drops, man. That's terrible. Like in the first game too. Like this is like a million land drops. That is super unfortunate. I mean, I like winning, right? But I don't want to win like this. Miss a land drop, but then, like, come back and have a good game. But this is stupid. Especially because they have in both game one and game two. I watched all your videos and I'm like, oh man, this I will pass, I think. <laughs> 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 
Sorry, guys. Oh, man. Yeah, not fun. Agreed. <laughs> That's actually hilarious. Sorry, guys. <laughs> oh, I love it. That's great. play all right i guess we're still gonna yeah like they can still come back like it's not even oh they could have played that guy why didn't they play that guy uh oh something's happened we're gonna play it out we could play double ground six I mean, we could play double ground guy double uh double morpharino I think I'd rather just have Ghost Ship here. If they have, like, Pyroclasm, it just wipes our whole board, and it's really bad. Oh, Helix. All right. Not my crows. I guess we just ate crow. Ha ha ha, we didn't eat it. That's, it's still in our hand. That's not how food works. All right. So I think it's just Brine Elemental Colossus here, and we can flip up either one if we hit a land. They're coming back. The comeback is real. We do not have pickle lock now. Like the the Vesuvian shapeshifter is rare. Like it, just because you have Brian Lamethel doesn't mean you have shapeshifter. All right, that's pretty good. Let's see what happens here. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is great. Okay, this guy's in the front. Yes. Okay. Oh my god, nine exactly with the Crosan Colossus. Oh my god. This card has been MVP every match. <laughs> Oh my god, that's hilarious. The one they don't block, that's great. Boom. Flipped. Look at these spicy little cheese sticks. Good games. Oh, man. This guy got there and just won for Xaxes. Come on. Come on. Ooh. Counterspell freed from the old horseshoe crab and pyrehound. His deck was good. Their deck was good, I should say. Man, close and close and cloud scraper. Cloud. Uh, Colossus, not Cloud Scraper. I think I said Cloud Scraper multiple times. 
Crow saying Colossus, definitely the MVP of this draft. I think we got our thumbnail, boys. Oh, this hand seems okay. We need an island, but we have like nine islands in the deck, so. Or eight. And we have two prisms, so we have ten mana sources that can produce a blue. What up, Super Saiyan? We can also just play Brian Elemental face down, which is fine. Well, that's awkward. Our hand is great if we hit, like, literally one island. Yeah, that guy's fine. Oh, most awkward draw ever. Look at our hand, dude. So bad. Oh, that's pretty good. Hey, Island, just in time. The Shadows, 943. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it, dude. Thank you. Give me one second. Let me shut the door to so make sure it's not too loud in here. Okay. That was some loud laundry. Oh, that was a good draw. Um, <sighs> your move. All right. So if we get an extra turn, next turn, if we get an island, that'd be great. Because then we can give a counter spell and exclude before they can replay their guy. Fallen Angel is obnoxious, but fine. That was a good draw. Got a last gas winter snowstorm today. It's much nicer. Oh my god. Are you serious? Snowstorms in April 3rd? Come on. Just stop it. I would like to play murder here, but I really don't want them to resolve the... Uh, Twisted Abomination, because we just don't have an answer for that guy. Nine inches of snow. Oh my god. That's not okay. Just play the abomination. Really? Sure. All right, so we're definitely playing that here. All right, cool. Pass.
Nathan, that's admirable, admirable. What's going on, buddy? Nothing, just being admirable over here. Oh, they might just keep up the uh, regeneration mana here. Are they just never going to replay the guy again? This seems annoying. One, two, three. So we have four mana outside of Jalira. It's probably just ghost ship, right? I'll go ship. Okay, you got it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've heard your voice enough. We, we might have hung out before. I'd be familiar with how you sound. care we're just gonna let it go just gonna exclude this guy four five six seven I'm just gonna flip So I flip, yeah, I flip. Sure. That doesn't untap now, nerd. <laughs> Four, five, one, two, three. If we get another land, we can play Jalira and Murder of Crows, which is pretty sweet. Oh, what up, Hydration Bot? Oh, that's pretty good, too. This is where they go Hordling Outburst, Twisted Abomination, Sacrifice everything to Fallen Angel. I guess we could Murder of Crows and block. Oh, you got a Mana War for my Murder of Crows. This is where they go High, uh, what's it called? Hordling Outburst, kill us. No, oh, just a just a chit chew crab. Okay. You got it. Mm -hmm. Just gonna pass here. Keep up Genju. Getting a little too close to comfort. Shh. 
sure. Yep, you got it. Nope, that's not gonna do it. I always click the island instead of the Genju, which is kind of funny. And if they have like a disfigure here, it's just bad news. Skeleton for island, it's not a great trade. We really have to get rid of the stupid fall angel. That's not going to do it. So we know they have Twisted in hand. Twisted! It's twi hey, it's Twisted! It's Twist, 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 Twist. Rock around you, rock around you, rock Kind of. Yo, Fizzle, have a good afternoon, buddy. Thank you so much for hanging out. Preach. Just going to keep on blocking. Keep on block. I keep tapping the stupid land. All right. Never again. All right. These are my blocks. All right. Horseshoe Crab eats, bites it. It was actually pretty good. I think that worked out well for us. All right, so definitely bringing in Plummet again, which has been MVP. So we have... Your wild heart. <laughs> Might as well get in there. Should have waited to play Perilous Mirror. Now they're just definitely not blocking. Yeah, I think we faced three blue decks in a row. We have. We played blue-black, then blue-red, then blue-black-red. So... Demir is it then Grixis. Most valuable plummet, that is correct. Oh, it was a uh, stupid fathoms here. So island island in hand. One less island. So we need to have twisted an island in hand. Alright, sure. What are you going to do? You know what to do. So I'm actually tempted to crack this island because it's not going to do anything. So That just gets us another, uh, another creature on board. <laughs> yes! Every time, man. Oh, God. So good. Oh, that's just fantastic. That's hilarious.
Come on, other mana war. Coral Helm. Oh, wow, we're getting real close to, to doing good things, but I think we might be dead now. Hmm. I think we just died because we got too excited about Crossan Cloud Scraper. If we played Genji, we could still block one more turn, but... I think we're one island shy. That's so awkward. <sighs> so nine, ten, eleven, twelve. can't really sack another dude unfortunately that's not how that works that is why she is tapped right now um yeah i think we were trying to present lethal here but i don't think we have we were six nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen we also could have hit second mana war or cloud blazer or um go ship like there was a bunch of things we could have hit but it wasn't a very yeah we just died of the two flyers that's super sad yeah they got it Next, yeah, next creature was Ghost Ship. That was stupid. That was our fault. I got greedy. Oh my god, the number of times Jalira has hit Crozan Colossus has been awesome. Sand seems great. Cheshire Pratt. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. We also didn't see any uh, legendary dudes. So, wow. Just a... Uh, Oh, we're looking good. We are looking looking spicy. Any one island would be great here. I would accept it wholeheartedly. It's not an island, but I appreciate your... Still fine. I think we just actually keep this. I think we just pass here. Let's keep exclude up, and if they if they don't try to if they don't kill our guy or uh, sure. Like we can flip this guy, and if they if they if they don't do anything, if they play a guy, we can exclude, try to hit a land, and then cloud blazer. Chad Bradbury, 49 months. Just a quick drive by to make sure you're. Oh, thank you so much, man. You are awesome. Chad, Cube starts tomorrow, buddy. Don't miss out.
Land. Land. That's not a land. Land. Be a land. Yeah, you're the best land. So now we're going to keep exclude up. And we also have Cloud Blazer mana. We're doing all right. Like, we can take four here. Doesn't it say it right in my info? Doesn't it say that it's modern? Modern cube? No, it just says cube. I'm dumb. I could have said modern cube. Mm-hmm. Sure. Kill your dummy. Play Cloud Blazer. Attack for three. Your turn. One, two, three, four, five. So if we draw land, land, we can eventually go Iwamori, exclude. Wow, we didn't draw any land. That is interesting. You wild hunt. Our hand is amazing, though, so... No blocks. Take one. Oh, look at that cutie. Oh, look at that sadness that I had. I have a sadness now. Oh, one, two, three. Mana war your thing. Attack you for two damage. I have exclude and counter spell. Yes, please. Next turn we can cultivate. One, two, three. One, two, three. And keep four up. Or if we draw a land, we can just go with Yumori and keep up exclude and counter spell. Oh, look at this guy getting aggressive. Here she comes. Zombify that guy. No, don't do that. Oh, I like they put me on exclude, but then I really had counterspell. Hope we don't have a legendary guy. You don't. Cool beans. <sighs> the old double zombify deck, huh? Okay. I will take one. Annoying, but four, five, six, seven. Put us to eight, put us down to five. I think we should rather have guys on board here. I mean, equipping this for four is pretty good, but we still get ghost ships, so you really have to find an answer from a ghost ship. Oh, putting it on that's pretty good, and that has death touch. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah, that's a good play. Do you move it over and kill my cloud blazer as well? Yep, yeah, that's hard to deal with. Not looking good. Yeah, 
up. Wow, this is problematic. Sure. Now I feel like we should have gotten this Ruthless Ripper off the board sooner. All my creatures have died to a Ruthless Ripper with a Heavy Arbalist on it. That is sad. Wow, you guys are actually ridiculous with these cube questions. Well, I can't deal with this, so we're definitely countering it. And drawing another island. Alright. Sometimes it's just not meant to be. That's pretty cringy. Well, two packs is still pretty okay, I guess. We're trying to run out of packs anyway, so... Yep, like you do. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we win this game if we just kill Ruthless Ripper sooner, but... Not today. Hmm. That's actually pretty hilarious. Can that do a thing for us? Five, six, seven... That's actually what I was hoping for, because now they don't get to untap with this. But they're probably not going to do anything with it anyway, so. No blocks. Go to four. So it's probably a Fathom Seer. Jester Poo, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Sultai Brood. Yeah, so they just had to get the win on board. Yep, all right. You got it. Oh, all right. Well, unfortunately, we probably messed that up by not uh, blocking, by not killing the Ruthless Ripper sooner. That was definitely a key component to their victory when they have Death Touch with a heavy, heavy Arbalist on. But uh, either way, what can you do? Deck was pretty good. Good times. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you next time.